Thank you for creating time to be here. Today we're going to look at uh, Amazon SES and how you can set it up with MailWiz. So this is my Amazon uh, SES and don't forget this is Sam and we help you get more clients here. So Amazon SES, the first step is for you to get approved for Amazon SES. Done another video on how to get approved for Amazon SES, but for this one, this is already an approved account. So if you come here to recently visited, you'll be able to see Amazon SES. And if you don't have it here, you can always type SES here. That way. And then you'll be taken to this uh, dashboard here. As you can see, we have uh, only sent one uh, test email from here. 50,000 approved and we can do 50,000 emails per day. 14 emails per second. Quite a huge volume. That means you can do 1.5 million emails per month and you can even ask for an increment of that So once you're here the first thing that you want to do is you want to create um, Identities, this is the email address or the domain that you'll be sending your emails from and remember we are doing this campaign from um, Mailwiz, so we also have our Mailwiz ready here So we are going to add our delivery server here. And then um, after that, you'll be able to see how you can be able to run your campaign using Amazon SES and uh, Mailwiz. So, and if you don't have Mailwiz uh, ready, uh, already set up, we can do that for you at uh, free of charge. Or what you need to do is you just need to buy a VPS a VPS that is um, SSD3 for 12 months uh, annual commitment and we'll do the setup for you for free you can buy a VPS and we'll be able to do a setup for uh, this fee and in case you need more extra services in regards to email marketing and specifically called email you can always check this out we have a lot more other services that can be beneficial let's jump into it all right you're going to create an identity. You can create two identities in here, SCS. You can uh, uh, create an ad a domain identity or you can create email address identity. So the difference between the two is that uh, when you send an email after you have verified from a domain, the person, the recipient is not going to see the, the they're not going to see anything related to Amazon SCS. But if you send from a email address, as you're going to see, this person is going to be able to see uh, SES credentials. I usually recommend using um, email address, bearing a minor person will be some, you will see something related to Amazon SES. When a person sees something Amazon, like your credibility looks more genuine. So I'm gonna verify a domain here. Sorry, an email address sorry create identity all right if you come to identities here you'll be able to see that the identity is awaiting verification so an email has been sent to this email address so you just need to go to this email address let me check this email address here let me refresh here you go it has been received and you just need to open this and then I need to just hit that. Click that link and you will be able to see congratulations you have successfully verified that email address. And in case you need a professional email address using your domain, again, if you go to email belt here, we'll be able to create for you a professional email address as you can see. Never use Gmail or Yahoo. You don't look professional when you're using that. Have your own professional domain email address. So coming back to this, let's come to Amazon SES here. You're going to refresh. All right, the identity has been verified. So you can use this email address to send our, our campaign. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get SMTP settings. 
I'm going to create SMTP credentials here. Create SMTP credentials. All right, there you go. I'm gonna give it a name here. I'm gonna call it test 65. And I'm going to create user. All right, the user has been created. This is the username of um, the SMTP and this is the password. All right, so when you go to Mailwiz, uh, let's go back to Mailwiz here. You're going to see that in Mailwiz, when you come to delivery servers, if you come here to delivery servers and you want to create um, Delivery server in Mailwiz simply means the SMTP. So create new server. And then you can either use web, SCS web API that way, where you get the host name, API key, secret key, and all of this. Or you can use the SMTP option. So I like using SMTP option, but both are equally the same. So I'm gonna use a uh, SMTP and then the next thing I want to do I want to get the host name so I want to go back to Amazon SES where do you get the host name if you come here to Amazon SES this is SMTP endpoint is the host name so I want to copy this and then um, the host name here we call it SES The port name you can use 25587 or 2587. I always recommend using T TLS that is 587. So port will be 587. Username is here. This is the username as you can see. So I'm gonna copy this. That is the username. And we have the password here. Copy the password. And then paste it there the form name is what the person is going to see when they receive this email for instance uh, say something like um, Sam for instance uh, we have the protocol we have used is when you use 587 the protocol is 58 is TLS if you use 465 the protocol is, um, I mean, you use 465, the protocol is SSL, 587, the protocol is TLS. I use a TLS. The, this is the email address that we have verified as the sender. Everything else looks okay. And then you can also do, for instance, if you want to send and uh, limit some quota, maybe on daily basis, you want to send a certain number of emails and all of this you can be able to put in that and then um, the next thing you want to do is save changes then uh, mailers will prompt you to verify this so i'm gonna put um, a domain that is going to help us verify you can verify this from any domain for instance you can pull that and click on validate An email is going to be sent, has already been sent. So if we come here, if we open this and uh, we refresh, not spam. The reason why it landed in spam is I use this domain for a lot of tests. So it's, uh, it's, its reputation is not that good. So, all right. So, and then you can hit that okay if you come here this is what we have added SES and then we have that this is what we have just added so this is what I was telling you that a person will be able to see this element here because we have just verified verify the email address if we verified the identity as the domain only, 
then a person will not be able to see uh, this feature here. So I like it this way because it's easier. I mean, Amazon is a big brand, so it being here has no problem. So we have already verified our identity that we're going to be using to send our email address. And now we are ready to hit the road running. We are ready to hit the road running by using this, um, this uh, SMTP. So that's how you are able to send campaign from Amazon SES using um, uh, Mailwiz. In case, don't forget, in case you need a Mailwiz setup, you can reach out to us. In case uh, you need um, Amazon SES, we have one ready here. And Amazon has the best, Amazon SES has, has the best deliverability. So chances of your email being seen is quite high. So, but again, uh, the approval processes is quite strict. So it's not a must that you get it. But I recommend that you apply and give it a test. So that's all I had for you for now. In case you need any help, don't forget to reach out. It's goodbye and see you on the next one.